Can I help you? Wait, where that money at? You need to get out. What? Now, what the fuck are you doing? Stop paying me. Where that money at? I don't have any money. Stop paying me. Where is that? Right now. Get I don't you. have right cash. It's a digital world, bro. Man, give me a wallet. I don't have it. Give me a wallet. Right now. Give it to me. Bro, stop it. You gonna shoot me? Give me a wallet. Get the fuck out of here. You don't want to get shot. Come on, man. Give me that wallet. No. Stop playing before I hit you. Fuck you. Got him on camera too. Oh, look at you. Fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super grateful for you right now. Well, ex-military, fuck you. Yeah, I mean, that's insane. Show me his gun. All right, Shalom. <clears throat> I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And uh, pretty much, you know, the, um, the, the priest, Yashalam, he um, showed me this video. And um, I thought of, you know, through the spirit to do this lesson. All right. Because that's how they're going to push forth this mark of the beast. They're going to push it forth as a miracle. They're going to push it forth as a thing of convenience. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how they're going to do that. All right. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 19 of verse 20 and as you can see on the top it says doom of the beast and the false prophet and pretty much this is going to go into people being deceived and the ones that take the mark of the beast which is the rfid chip implant also known as the bci are going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles before the destruction of babylon the great the mark of the beast which is the rfid chip implant it will become mandatory all right so this is revelation chapter 19 of verse 20 and the beast which the beast is made on the eu was taken and with him the false prophet the false prophet represents the roman catholic church and out of the roman catholic church you got christianity and islam right so it says that wrought miracles now what's his miracles his pseudoscience and his ai technology so what's going on right now is they're causing a great global reset, all right? They want to cause a global economic collapse in order to usher in a new system. That's a cashless digital society that the central bankers, which are the Rothschilds and the different Illuminati, you know, Edomite families, control 100% through the microchip implant, all right? And this is why you hear talks about the CBDC, which is a central bank digital currency, digital programmable money that they want to put on a device. And that device is the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. It's all about control concerning the NWO agenda, also known as the 2030 agenda. All right. So that's the miracles. They're going to push this thing forth as a thing of convenience and you've seen plenty of videos of people that got the bci you know the brain chip implants and now all of a sudden you know they were once paralyzed but now they can walk again now they can move their paralyzed limbs again right now the brain can function normal now they feel like a normal person in society again that's all due to what his miracles in the form of his blessing which is his technology his ai technology right so it says before him with which he deceived them that received the mark of the beast because that's what you people need to understand yeah they're going to pressure people into taking the mark of the beast because you're not going to be able to buy or sell that's the temptation part all right the fact that you will be an absolute outcast if you don't take this mark of the beast which is the RFID chip implant when they make it mandatory, all right? 
So now that's going to this word deceived because the ones that take the chip, they're going to consent and say, yes, I will willingly receive the RFID chip implant so that I can buy and sell and participate in society again. So I can quote unquote, have my life back, right? So when you go into this word deceived, I'm gonna let the word play. Strong's G, 4105, Planao, Planao. And this is the word for deceived in Revelation 19 and 20. It says to cause, to shray, to lead astray, lead aside from the right path. Because ultimately the ones that take the chip, they are blinded by the God of this world. Pursuant to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, the third and the uh, fourth verse. Because who's the God of this world? Satan and his physical counterpart, the so-called white man, the Edomites, their seed line, right? So if you take that chip, you're pledging your allegiance to the so-called white man and his system and Satan, all right? It says to go astray, wander, roam about. Metaphorically, to lead away from the truth, exactly. And that's what the so-called white man wants. Because he has a God complex pursuant to Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and Obadiah, the first chapter. Why? Because he's prideful. He doesn't want to acknowledge that the Most High, Yahweh, have set him up in these last days to fulfill prophecy. But ultimately, to exalt his name once Yahweh Shai comes back and takes him out of rulership physically by the way of the so-called UFOs. Right? So it says to lead away from the truth. So that's ultimately what he wants, all right? He wants the whole world to worship him as a god. And the, the him or the nation I'm talking about is the nation of Edom, beginning with the Rothschilds on down. They want to be worshipped as gods. They look at everybody in society as goyim, as wild cattle on the loose. So what do you do with your cattle? You brand them. That's where the MOTB comes in there, right? So to lead away from the truth, to lead in error, to deceive. So they're going to deceive people into thinking that taking this mark of the beast is a thing of convenience. Or you can track all of your transactions. You don't have to worry about crime anymore. Or you paralyzed or you born with a disability. Well, take this BCI and you'll be able to function as a normal human being again. But what's the cons of it? You know, we always hear about the pros. That is convenient, right? What's the cons? That they'll be able to turn your chip on and off. They'll be able to tax you at will. They'll have full control of your assets. And by the way, you know, concerning the 2030 agenda, what's the main slogan? You will own nothing and you will be happy. All right? So it's a crappy deal in the end. It says to lead away from the truth, to lead in error, to deceive. So the ones that take the mark of the beast, they're going to be deceived and they're going to willingly consent and say, yes, I will receive your RFID chip implant. But we know pursuing the Revelation 24, the elect of the nation of Israel will not bow down to this man's image, which is his new world order in his lifetime. And we won't receive his mark, which is that RFID chip implant when they make it mandatory. All right. Lord willing, I'm a part of the elect. It says to be led into error. So that's what they're in the process of doing. This is why on the mainstream media, alternative media, the different news articles, this is why you're seeing the rise in the RFID slash brain chip implants, which is the MOTB, being talked about. All right? Because they want to start planting the seeds. They want to plant the seeds so that you can see, oh, this is cool. You don't got to carry a wallet no more. But the moment you think that, they got you right where they want you. You fell into the trap, right? So it says to be led aside from the path of virtue to go astray sin. Yeah, because it is a sin unto death if you take the mark of the beast. Why is it a sin unto death? Because you can't repent from that. The scriptures is clear. When you read uh, Revelation 14, 9 on down, the ones that take the mark of the beast is going to be destroyed. Why? Because they willingly consented and received it. So they got to get the judgment written, which is fire and brimstone. All right. Because they've been warned. So you people that take the chip, you've been warned not to take it. And first and foremost, this gospel and this doctrine 
and these videos we do is for the Israelites first and foremost. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Don't take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant, when it's made mandatory. The ones of you that take the chip, you're going to be destroyed. All right? It says to serve or fall away from the truth. It says of heretics to be led away into error and sin. So that's what the so-called white man is going to do. And this is what he's pushing forth through transhumanism. All right? That this is the wave of the future. Oh, this is cool to be half cyborg. Right? It says, which he deceived them. Right? Two-thirds of the nation of Israel in America and people worldwide, they're going to be deceived. Right? Because he's going to deceive them, which is going to lead to what? Them that had received right let me just go into the word received just to see what it says strong's g 2983 lambano lambano for the word received right in revelation 19 and 20 it says to take to take with the hand lay hold of any person or thing in order to use it exactly so these people are going to willingly take the chip in their hand in order to buy and sell they're going to fail the great time of testing what the scriptures describe as the hour of temptation right what's the temptation part you won't be able to buy or sell at least you take this chip right so that's pretty much it so now let's go down so it says the motb right which is the rfid chip implant and them that worshiped his image. His image in this lifetime is the NWO, all right? His New World Order, also known as the 2030 Agenda, right? It says, them that worship his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So that's what's going to happen to you people. You people, Lord willing, it ain't me, all right? But you people that take the RFID chip implant, when that time comes, you're going to fail the great time of testing you're going to fail the hour of temptation and what is that going to lead to your death all right by thermonuclear missiles this is what's coming you people think this is fake these things is real these countries are already prepared and they already have this type of technology now the only thing left is for prophecy to come to pass and then you're going to see these nations turn against america and burn it with the fire and brimstone with the thermonuclear missiles turning america into that lake of fire as prophesied right so now let's get this this is the book of sirach also known as the book of ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and verse 16 it says an enemy who's our enemies right our enemies is the heathen nations from numbers 2 through 18 all nations outside of the nation of israel are our enemies all right and on this side unbelieving israelites are our enemies too why because they want to uphold the agendas of the so-called white man of the edomites all right of satan of the devil of the left hand side right so now let me jump back so so rock 12 and 16 an enemy speaks sweetly with his lips so yeah like i said unbelieving israelites they're going to be destroyed the ones that's not a part of the elect all right within america you are going to be destroyed the two-thirds in america right it says speak as sweetly with his lips always promising you things never living up to his word right he tries to deceive you the scriptures tell you in psalms the 55th chapter verse 20 on down that what his words are smoother than butter look all through our history of the things that the so-called white man promised our people right reparations the 40 acres and the mule so forth and so on this man is not a man of his word. All right. He's a liar. It says, but in his heart, meaning his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Going back to his system. This is what this new world order system is about. Throwing you into a pit. How can they control you? How can they track you? How can they monitor all your transactions? How can they deceive you so that you receive that mark of the beast and make them your God? That's all they care about. All right. They don't they don't want to acknowledge the most high and the son. That's why they're the only nation prophesied in the scriptures to fight against Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. 
Meanwhile, all the other heathen nations, they realized that when a nation of Israel was sinning against the heavenly father by breaking the law, statutes and commandments, you know, following the way of the heathen, committing idolatry, committing fornication, which is the breaking of the law. Now it's our time to go and besiege and take these people down and make them tributaries. All right. But the nation of Edom, they're not like that. They don't acknowledge the most high. See, the other nations, at least they acknowledge the most high. There's accounts in the scriptures of them acknowledging the most high. All right. But Esau, he, he's prideful. But anyways, it says he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit, how he's going to deceive you. This is what they talk about behind closed doors when they're at dinner. How can we how can we make these people lives and live in hell? Going back to Micah, the second chapter, right? It says he will weep with his eyes. But if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Going back to Habakkuk, the second chapter and the fifth verse. All right. These devils have everything at their disposal. They have all the money in the world, all the gold in the world. They could get any woman they want. They can travel anywhere they want. You know, they got the greatest technology. They got the greatest food. You know, they can purchase or have any land they want. They got space energy weapons. They got harp. I mean, these, these devils got everything. And there's still not enough of them, right? But the main part I want to focus on is an enemy speaker sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Now, here's how he's going to do that. Here's how he's going to push microchip implants, which is the mark of the beast, as a thing of convenience. This is how he's going to deceive you, right? The ones that's not a part of the elect. So as you can see here, this is how he's going to push it as a thing of convenience. You'll never again have to worry about losing your wallet. Now, in the intro of this video, you saw the Jake on the left. He was attempting to rob that ex-military Edomite. Right. But what did the Edomite tell him that the Jake missed? Oh, I don't I don't um, have my wallet. You know, it's, it's in my hand. I got the chip. Meaning what? Everything is going to be on the chip. Your medical records, the currency, the different ways to identify yourself. How you're going to enter into your car? How you're going to enter into business establishments? How you're going to buy and sell? Everything is going to revolve around the mark of the beast. And then what they're going to do is how they're going to merge man to the system is through the technology, through the mark of the beast. All right. So in essence, they're going to push this forth as, you know, this is going to combat crime. This is going to make crime go down because for the most part, what individuals is really going to be out here, although you got people bold enough to do that, what people is really going to be out here chopping hands off? You see what I'm saying? And even if you do that, you'll still be able to be tracked because these devils, they setting up smart cities. All right. Cameras with um, facial recognition. So this is what's getting ready to happen. All right. So you'll never again have to worry about losing your wallet. Even easier identification. Right. Club membership and access control. Your medical history will always be easily accessible keeping tabs on patients, children, and criminals. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me read this. It says, it's not uncommon for babies to get mixed up at hospitals, for the elderly or hospital patients to wander out of care facilities, or for criminals to escape from prison. It's also not uncommon for children to get lost in a crowd, run away from home, or be kidnapped. In these instances, being able to track people means peace of mind for millions of caregivers, family members, and parents, right? People that's elderly, they got dementia, they see now, they don't know what the hell is going on, right? Sometimes these people just wander around, get lost. It says, in the event of a kidnapping, the first four hours are the most critical, as murder usually happens within that time frame. An RFID chip could significantly lower the risk of something terrible happening. You see how crafty this devil is? He's going to deceive unbelievers. But the elect of the nation of Israel, going back to Matthew 24 and 24, it's not possible to deceive us. All right. It says you'll be able to automatically control many of your devices. Right. With your hand. Nobody 
but you will be able to use your weapon because if you do your research, they have smart guns. All right. So like I said, everything in society is changing so that it can revolve around using the RFID chip implant. All right. And the ultimate power that these devils is going to have, which is going to make them a god according to their system, is that they'll be able to turn your chip on and off so that you can't do nothing without their approval. All right. Now, here's some more stuff, because remember, they want to come out with a CBDC RFID microchip implant. Right. So, look, check this out. It says right pros of cbdc it says improve payment efficiency and accessibility enhance financial inclusion and access to banking services increase security and transparency reduce costs and risk of physical cash handling right um cyber security and privacy risks so there you go i got one more here because remember the cbdc is going to be on the chip it says CBDC, which stands for Central Bank Digital Currency, advocates claim that money laundering, that's something that criminals do, right? In that guy's case, he was getting ready to be robbed. If he had a wallet, he would have got his wallet took it, right? It says claims that money laundering, tax invasion, and the financing of terrorist activities are risks that can be mitigated through a system that the federal government can monitor in real time, fostering greater transparency and increasing public trust by cracking down on crime. This is how they're going to push forth the chip. They're going to push it forth as a thing of convenience. It's going to make your life easier. It's safer. You know, it's, it's, it's better security with the chip. You see? So I'm going to read that one more time. Um, Sirach chapter 12, verse 16. An enemy speaks sweetly with his lips. Right. He tells you all the pros, but he don't tell you the cons. He don't tell you his agenda why he's even having it open to the public in the first place. It says, but in his heart, meaning his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. This is what they talk about at the World Economic Forum. This is what they talk about in their different meetings behind closed doors. How can we achieve world domination? How can we further our new world order agenda? This is what they talk about. Right. It says, yep, but in his heart, he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes. But if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. And that's the so-called white man. That's the Edomites. I'm going to end it with this. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. least Satan. The word for Satan in the Greek is Santanas. And it's talking about a Satan-like man. Who's Satan's physical counterpart on the planet Earth? The so-called white man. The Edomites, right? Their seed line should get an advantage of us for we the elect of the nation of israel lord willing that be us the brothers that's still on the highways and byways the brothers that's still teaching right because you got to be out on the highways and byways you can't just be in your car doing videos especially if you was already on the highways i mean what, like what are you doing you're going to be beaten with many stripes so we have to endure unto the end so that we can get that reward even if it involves death so you guys that stop teaching, the Most High is going to destroy you. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Now the word ignorant, it means not to know. Now, how come we're not ignorant? Because through the blood and sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, we have the gift of faith and we have the Holy Spirit, which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures to understand that what? The new world order agenda is prophesied in the scriptures. The end game of the NWO is to implant every individual or try to implant every individual by deceiving them, by coming down with great wrath, right? By um, coming up with the hour of temptation, telling all people worldwide, look, you can't buy or sell. At least you take this RFID chip implant, right? So that's what the MOTB is. So it says, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So that's the end game. All right. To implant everybody with a chip. So it says of his devices. Now, when you go into this word devices, 
Strong G3540, the word there is Nyama, and it says what? A mental perception, thought, and evil purpose, that which thinks the mind, thoughts, or purposes. Talking about what? This man's schemes, his agendas. And what's his ultimate agenda? The NWO agenda, this 2030 agenda, as you can see here. A one world government, one world cashless currency, one world central bank, one world military, the end of national sovereignty, the end of all privately owned property, the end of the family unit, depopulation, control of population, growth and population density, mandatory multiple Vs, as you can see here, right? Universal basic income, microchip society for purchasing, travel, tracking and controlling, right? It says uh, implementation of a world social credit system like China has. Millions of appliances hooked into the 5G monitoring system, the Internet of Things, right? Government raised children, government owned and controlled schools, colleges, universities, the end of private transportation, owning cars, ECT. Why do you think they come out with electric cars? So that you're going to need the chip in order to access the car, all right? All businesses owned by government and corporations. That's why it says what? The 2030 agenda, you will own nothing and you will be happy. You'll be an absolute slave. It says, yep, the restriction of non-essential air travel. Human beings being con concentrated into human settlement zones, right? FEMA camps, you know, you look at the FEMA maps, it's split into 10 different regions. That's in the scriptures. Yep, it says human beings concentrated into human settlement zones, cities, the end of irrigation, the end of private farms and grazing livestock, the end of single um, homes. They probably spelled that wrong, right? It says restricted land use that serves human needs, the ban of natural non-synthetic drugs and neuropathic medicine, the end of fossil fuel, all right? So there you go. You know, this is this man's agenda. So, you know, Lord willing, you was edified by the lesson. Shalom.